welcome back to the channel. I am Lindy, AKA Paleo Barbie. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. Um, I, this is going to be a grocery haul and, uh, I've got Aldi and Walmart on here this time. Um, I got a few bargains at Walmart that I wanted to share with you because, uh, with everything right now, um, the way it is with inflation and all the things, um, prices are crazy. So I wanted to share that with you for, um, showing how I save some money. Uh, but I'm fixing to go into Aldi and I will show you when I get home what I got from there. All right, guys, I am back from Aldi and let me show you what we got. I got some of the chicken leg meat and some chicken breast. I got some 100% beef burger patties. I got, oh, before I go on, Make sure that you look at the back of your burger patties because I bought some from Sam's and didn't realize that they had sunflower or some kind of oil, seed oil in them. And I didn't know that. And they were they were causing my hands to start hurting for my, my arthritis. So make sure you check the packages, which I usually do, but it's just, you know, uh, <laughs> one of those days. But this one is just beef and that's it. So this was good. Um, I got some ground chicken. I'm gonna make some more of those meat chips, some stew meat, pork chops. I got a two bags of, I'll go to that side in a minute. I got two bags of cooked shrimp for uh, carnivore mac and cheese, two packs of this thick bacon and one pack of this thick bacon. Got some uncured hot dogs for lunches so to do like bacon wrapped hot dogs. Um, I got some uncured ham. I'm gonna use that for a recipe some charcuterie stuff for uh, for movie night. My husband and I sometimes, when it's just the two of us, we like to do like charcuterie. So we'll do like salamis and cheeses. So these two are for that. And then I always get, if they have it, this shrimp ring. I don't use the sauce, but we use, we eat the shrimp with the charcuterie just to add some more protein. Three packs of different kinds of sliced cheeses. Got some Parmesan cheese, some blue cheese, cause I haven't had any in a while. Picked up my husband some of the Too Good Pumpkin Yogurt. Got the cheese fries because I don't have the bread cheese right now. I, I like these. I don't like them as much as the bread cheese, but I went ahead and got them because I don't have bread cheese because apparently it's seasonal. I got some Moo Tubes for the grandkids. Two packs of cage-free eggs. Got some half and half heavy whipping cream and unsweetened almond milk. Also got some whole uh, Greek yogurt some butter, a couple packs of shredded cheese. I have blocks of cheese in there as well, but I wanted to go ahead and get a couple of these just for convenience. Some cottage cheese, got some salsa verde, some guacamole uh, singles for my husband's lunch, some of the hearts of palm for my husband. And then we got the steak thins and the zero sugar spicy jalapeno sausages. Got some cheddar almond flour crackers for him to snack on some garlic powder and pepper because i was out of or almost out of this out of this some pepitas for my husband's yogurt and then i got some mashed cauliflower they also had a cauliflower like with cheese but the one with cheese had seed oils and this one doesn't so this one was a little bit cleaner so i went ahead and got this for a side for one night got two cans of the pink salmon it was on sale this week and then the these are for the grandkids, two, two of these, of oh, the mac and cheese, and some chicken nuggies. My husband's bars. I got some cucumber, some squash and zucchini, some sweet, uh, mini sweet peppers, cauliflower rice. Got a, a spaghetti squash, some blueberries for his yogurt. Two um, salad kits for sides for them. Some tomatoes baby spinach, sugar snap peas for his lunch, apples for lunches for him and grandkids, some jalapenos and some bell peppers. All right guys, and all of this was $274 and some change. Um, also, I forgot to say in the beginning, if you're new here, I'm the only person in my house that's carnivore, so that I do have other things for other people in my family. Uh, my husband's doing like low carb for now. Um, and grandkids, I have a lot but not all the time at, eat, at dinner time but but they do eat what I make for dinner um but I do have to have some things like those nasty things over there because my grandson is so dang picky 
But anyway, this was my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All right, so I just got back from Walmart and I had a few, I, I went in there for just a couple of things. I actually, salmon was one of the things I went in there for to, uh, to make <clears throat> my mom for her lunch for her birthday. Um, but I found some really good markdown items and I'll show you those in a minute, but I wanted to show you, this is the salmon I got. Boom, we'll focus. Uh, I also picked up these tomatoes for a recipe for them. Two chopped salad kits. These were both marked down and there's nothing wrong with them. So I'm going to be using these for sides for the other people in the house. All of these chicken thighs were marked down. 310 for this one. Really good deal. This is, I haven't seen chicken thighs this price in a while. All of them were marked down. That one's 303, 318, and 348. We've also got some good beef uh, marked down. 641 for this Angus, these small little steaks. 262 for this little piece of flat iron. And then there's two ribeyes. They're thin ribeyes, but they're still good. 1078. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for my little meat haul from Walmart. And I'm sorry guys if it ever gets out of focus. I'm having trouble with my camera because on my phone because I cracked the lens and I'm gonna have to probably get another phone. And I just got this phone not that long ago. So anyway. This is my haul from Walmart that was a little under 70 uh, for the meat and salad stuff. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. Uh, let me know down below if this helped you out and I will see you guys in the next one.